Alright guys, welcome back to another video and this is number four of my little mini tour of America and I'm here at Mercatino's in Quaker Town and I'm so excited. Josh, aka the goat, recommended this food challenge for me. Links will be down below for his video. But it looks absolutely amazing. We have got a huge two foot cheesesteak and we've got loads of other amazing stuff as well. We've got seasoned fries, which look absolutely amazing. And then a cannoli. I've really wanted to try a cannoli. The one time I've tried a cannoli is actually in Sicily, so that's cool, so I'm really excited to try that. And then you also get a soda as well, and I went for ginger beer as well, because that sounds really nice. But yeah, so excited. You have to take all this down in 30 minutes. I'm really excited. This is my, oh, this is my second cheesesteak of the tour. I had one after, as you've seen, our pizza challenge. Josh got us a cheesesteak after that pizza, which is kind of crazy, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to this one, because it smells absolutely delicious. So yeah, let's get to it. I think I'm just gonna pick it up. Yeah, do you wanna do a timer? Okay, cool. Alright. Three, two, one, go. Mmm. Uh. Mmm. Oh my goodness. Mmm. Oh, it is. Yeah. Very hot. All right guys, welcome back to another video and this is my fourth and sadly final food challenge of my America 2023 tour, but I'm definitely going out with a bang. Josh being an epic water boy there. Ooh. Yeah, this cheesesteak was absolutely filled to the brim with ribeye steak. And that's some high quality steak there and it made it taste absolutely amazing. The combination of that with the fried onions and the cheese, I think they did provolone in this cheesesteak and it worked so well. It is absolutely delicious but it's very hot still. As you could see, they did not scrimp on the steak and the cheese for that matter. What do you guys think? Josh went for a very specific time prediction of 30 minutes, 50 seconds. He knows me too well. Laura, knowing that my kryptonite is fries, went for a time prediction of 15 minutes. What do you guys think? The current record was held by the legend, notorious Bob at 18 minutes and 37 seconds. Could I beat that? Don't neglect your ginger beer. Mm -hmm. That was a great piece of advice from Laura. And as part of this challenge, you could choose the soda you went for. I went for ginger beer. What would you have gone for? It's a surprise. That's a good idea. They sound uh, crisp. Mm -hmm. These fries were very crispy and they were seasoned perfectly as well. They yeah. are crispy. And one last time, yes, they were very, very crispy. Yeah. Mm. 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 Struggling a little bit to get into that bottle, which is worrying, but when I did, the flavor of this ginger beer was absolutely amazing and really helped get the fries down. Just said he got a lot more less fries. Boo. Uh, fries are not my favorite, but these are actually pretty good. They sound good. They were good. Seasoned really, really well. But I was slightly upset. Josh got curly fries with his challenge, and Bob got waffle fries with his. I would have loved either of them, but what is your favorite type of fries? I'd love to know. But at six minutes, I still had a couple of fries to go, probably over a foot more of this cheesesteak to go, and the cannoli, and to finish off that entire soda. Finishing this all in 10 minutes was feeling pretty absurd to me. Honestly, 
It is absolutely delicious, but it's still pretty hot. Ah. It's really good. Mm -hmm. I really found like the ginger beer helped with this. It cut through the cheesesteak and the fries. And especially at this point in the challenge when I was starting to get a little bit of flavor fatigue from all that rib meat and all the carbs from the bread and the fries. Oh, it was so good. I'm definitely gonna consider having ginger beer to help me with other food challenges. Mm -hmm. As my prize for having the chips, because I don't like chips, I'm just gonna taste a little bit of the cannoli because it's like looking at me and I really wanna try it. This thing looks absolutely amazing. Mmm. Just a little bit. Oh wow. Mmm, wow. So looking forward to that. <laughs> And with that guys, I'm gonna leave a comment here. Thank you all so much for tuning in and thank you all so much for your support on this America 2023 food tour. Sadly, this is my last video, but I did go to a Golden Corral buffet. So if you wanna see that video, please, please, please hit the like button and also comment down below Golden Corral. If I get 800 likes and more than 20 people saying in the comments down below Golden Corral, I'll post that video soon. And finally, Stay tuned to the end of this video because you'll have a sneak peek to my first festive feast. This is the first video in my Christmas series and it's literally every festive fast food item I could find. And as always guys, comment down below your Christmas food challenge suggestions. Ah, this looks so good. Josh, just a prediction. Wow, look at that. That was so close. Uh. 1344. That's amazing. All right, girl. Well done. Oh, yeah. Can I have another napkin? Yeah. Oh, here, I gave him a bunch. Ah, thank no, you. It's okay. Yeah. Are you full now or what? No, no, I could eat a lot more cannolis. Maybe less cheesesteaks, but definitely more cannolis. <laughs> the cannolis are. No, 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 I'm joking. Thank you. 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 Oh, thank you. <laughs> Got my two biggest fans here. That was absolutely amazing. Really enjoyed that. The cheesesteak was kind of bigger than I thought it was going to be. Um, There's a lot more meat in it, so really tasty. The um, the baguette was kind of like a yeah French baguette, so it was a bit more tougher, but it was really good. Really nice tasting baguette. The fries actually were pretty good, even though they were seasoned. I'm a bit salty about the fact that Josh got like curly fries. I think Bob got waffle fries, but we're gonna put it there. I've gotta get over my fries phobia. And I did, because I tried it with this, and this was absolutely delicious. This ginger beer, really, really ori like original ginger beer, kind of like very Italian, really nice. But obviously, as I keep saying, standard item was definitely the cannoli. I would love to do a cannoli challenge. If anyone wants to sponsor me to do a cannoli challenge, I'm there. It was so good, honestly, really, really good. So yeah, so with that, I think I get a t-shirt for winning. It was either meal for free, which is really cool. I did 13.44, Josh predicted 13.50, so he is really on point, he gets a bonus star for that. And I think maybe I'm the record time here now, but who knows, to be honest, I don't mind because that cheesesteak was delicious, and that cannoli was really, really good too. Thank you, a bit food drunk now. But yeah, great, all right, win number four. Uh, I don't know what my next food challenge is going to be, but we'll keep rolling with it. So yeah, so I hope you check your next one. All right, hungry, dominant, humbly. So for winning, I get a t-shirt as well, which is absolutely amazing. The ribeye challenge winner, which is cool. I two foot long ribeye, fries, cannoli, and a drink. Great, cool. I'm really happy about that. That's really cool. Laura is not happy. Did I say soda and drink again? No, no it's just, it was, it was great. It was just cute. Even when I do, even when I, 
do it right, Laura laughs at me like I'm doing it wrong. So I was like, anyway, I think that was okay. This is gonna be an outtake anyway. So yeah, on to the next one. Take you out later. I've already done my outro. All right. Oh yeah, and Josh can come in. Yeah, Josh was here. Hi, Josh. Josh was cheering me on. Great time. Yeah, good, good it was time good. Prediction. Good prediction, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really good. Oh, cool. All right. Probably in the next one, you might actually see Josh in another challenge. Yeah, maybe the next one might be us two together. I'm not too sure. Anyway, all right, bye. But it looks absolutely amazing. We have got a huge two foot steak. Yeah, huge two foot. Ugh. Oh my God, doesn't want to do it. Seasoned fries, which look absolutely amazing. And then an, uh, and then a cannoli. I destroyed the ribeye challenge. Two foot long, soda, cannoli, drink, Alright, alright, cool. You said soda and drink. Yeah, I did. Yeah, you did.